This video explains how to construct a rhombus in Geometer Sketchpad using the compass or circle tool and the straight edge or segment tool. To start, press the fourth button down, which is the segment tool, and construct a segment by pressing down on a spot to make your first point and pressing down on another spot to make your second point. Next, select the compass or circle tool, which is the third button down, and create a circle starting at one end point and extending to the second end point. Repeat these same steps starting at the other end point. Then press and hold the straight edge tool. Notice we have the option of segment, ray, or line. We're going to select the third option, which is a line, and you're going to select one of the intersection points formed by the circles as your starting point, and the other intersection point formed by the two circles at the top as your second. Next, select the point tool, which is the second button down, and construct a point where the two segments intersect. This is the midpoint of your line segment. Then select the circle tool, which is the third button down, and create a circle with your midpoint as the center, or where you start, and extend it to any point on either your segment or line, whichever you prefer. I'll stop here. Let's hide additional circles that we no longer need. In order to do so, highlight each of the big circles and go to your menu options, display, hide circles, or control H on a PC or command H on a Mac. What you can see is a circle that has four intersections with it. Two intersections with your circle that are shown on the line right here and here will be two of the vertices of our rhombus. And the other two vertices are going to be our original vertices of our segment. In order to create our rhombus, I'm going to use the straight edge tool. And because we last made a line, we actually have to choose segment again. So you got to press the arrow button to get the three options and then select the segment. And you're going to start at one of your endpoints. And then your other point will be where the circle and the line intersect. And then you're going to start at the next one, go to the other end point, and point to where the circle and the line intersect on the other side, and back to our starting point. Last, we're going to hide the additional segments, lines, and circles, and the points that we have. So I'm going to highlight the extra pieces that we no longer need, and go to Display hide objects. And we can verify that this is a rhombus by measuring the segment lengths and angle measures. Let's do the segments first. So select all of your segments going around your shape. And go to measure lengths and note they are all the exact same measurement. Now let's do each angle individually. In order to do so you need to select three points at a time and you need to make sure that your middle point is your vertex. So if I'm doing angle A, I have to select A second. So B, A, D will be the angle that I'm doing first. Measure angle. And it gives me the degrees. Then I'll do A, D, C. Measure angle. Then I'll do D, C, B. Measure angle. And the last one, C, B, A measure angle. As you can clearly see, the opposite angles are congruent and the consecutive angles are supplementary. And as we found out earlier, all four sides are congruent, making it a rhombus. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope that you have a great day.